having some insights into how communication works uh, really helps in making you a more effective uh, communicator and I think can really uh, make your life uh, better. This is the first time the uh, class has been offered. It's a class where you are exposed to the main theories and the main concepts about human communication coming from uh, a number of disciplines, including psychology, anthropology, linguistics, uh, communication studies. Professor Galantucci runs the, the psychology and communication lab uh, here at YU. Running that program um, gives him the opportunity to give over a lot of practical experience in his lectures. And the format of human communications is definitely something that I haven't seen in any of my other classes how it keeps you engaged with the material. After the fourth, fifth week of the class, we started shifting to a different format in which it is the student that are actually presenting. It was very interesting to try to teach a class. I've never done that before. You really understand the material more when you have to give it over. I introduced uh, the term of, of uh, politeness, for example, when we are talking. Uh, if you ask me a question, I'm kind of obliged to answer the question because if not, it's not polite. The discussions that spin off from those presentations have contributed greatly to my overall understanding of um, what it means to have a successful human interaction. That's the way you really know that a student has understood a concept. The moment they can, they can leave it. Human communication happens in the class all the time. So the students might ask me, so what is repair? And I say, what did you say? And they will ask me, I said, what is, what is uh, uh, repair? And I said, yes, that's exactly what happened. A repair in conversation is what happens when something breaks down and so you try to fix it. You know, I didn't understand and now we're doing a, a, a repair. I think as a result of the conversations we've, we've had in class, I'm much more intentional with the way I speak and that's not something I expect to take out of the course actually. This has even prompted me to look into maybe adding a sociology minor in terms of the, the sociology of human communication, and that's something I never would have explored. Let's say that you are going in a country where you don't speak the language, and all of a sudden you find yourself having to communicate without having a established means to do so, and really delving into the problem of how humans create a communication system from scratch. Every bias that we built in our communication system, we need to be aware so that we can remove in order to be able to communicate with them. Our class happens to have a lot of international students and I think that's really fascinating because we're talking about what is unique in different human cultures and also what is universal and we get a lot of insight from students from around the world about what goes on in their home countries and we can see from there like certain gestures are very specific to cultures, but facial expressions are kind of universal. We're a small group of, of uh, students, so that also makes it easier. The discussions can get um, a lot more in-depth and personal because of closeness we've developed over the course of the semester. My experience in YU, the small class sizes, um, make it a lot easier to develop relationships with the various professors, but also with my peers. I like it very much. It's something different. We get to, to know, to speak, to debate, to think out of the box. I think it's really important.